A woman approaches a man who is cleaning a pool. She pokes the employer to talk to him, but the employer tries to make a pass at her. The woman gets angry and pushes the man into the pool. The angry woman screams and says that she did it to teach him how to respect women. The man who's inside the pool asks the woman what's wrong with her. The woman ignores him and leaves. Later, another man approaches the woman, asking why she did that to the employer. The woman tells the man that the employer was disrespectful to her. The employer, who was pushed inside the pool, approaches the conversation and questions her action. The woman tells the employer that he was completely disrespectful to her and says that she wasn't looking for him anyway, and that she was after the owner of that house. The man inquires about the reason why she was looking for him. The woman tells the employer that it was none of his business and that he doesn't owe him any explanation. But she decides to reveal that she was there to redecorate the interior of the house. The man, who is wearing a cap, attempts to ask her something but is immediately interrupted by the other man. The man tells the woman that his job is to clean the pool, and the man wearing a cap takes care of the house. The pool cleaner says that he's going to help the woman and asks the other employer to continue doing his job. The pool cleaner tells the woman that he can help, but the woman laughs in disdain and says that a mere pool cleaner isn't capable of helping her. But then the woman changes her mind and says that there was something for which he might be helpful. The woman asks the pool cleaner if the house's owner is married. The pool cleaner confirms that the owner is single. The woman asks the cleaner if he is sure, and the man confirms. The woman says that the house deserves a brand new design and someone like her living in it. The pool cleaner inquires about the woman's marital status. The woman states that she is single, but only for a short amount of time. The woman says that she's sure she's going to find her love in that house. The pool cleaner tells the woman that she is also single. The woman, doubtful, asks if that was true. And the man confirms that he was single. The woman tells the cleaner that he will be single forever because he is ugly and walks away. The pool cleaner scratches his head and says that the woman was incredible. The pool cleaner, carrying a tray, approaches the woman and offers her some juice and biscuits. She agrees and begins to drink the juice. The woman abruptly spits the drink on the floor and says that it tastes disgusting. She throws the juice towards the man and complains about the lack of sugar. The woman shouts and pours the juice over the man, telling him to leave her alone. The man says that he was only trying to be kind to her. The woman says that she didn't ask for any kindness. The man admits that he liked her. The woman asks what he means by that. And the pool cleaner claims to be in love with her. The woman tells him to stop being so stupid and that she is going to tell everything he did to his boss. The woman, belittling the man, orders the man to leave. The woman keeps waiting outside. Later, the other employer approaches the pool cleaner and calls him his boss. The man asks the boss if he's going to tell the woman that he's the owner and when. The owner says that he will tell her the truth at the right moment. The employer points out that the woman was being rude to him. But the boss says that he doesn't care because he is in love with her and that he was thinking about sharing the house with her. The employer chuckles in disbelief and asks the boss if he really wants to marry such an arrogant woman. The boss says he's alright and tells the employer to leave him to it. The employer attempts to stop, but the boss just ignores him and leaves. The baffled employer watches the boss leave. The boss approaches the woman again. The woman despises the man and arrogantly asks what he wants. The man says that he just wanted to ask her some questions. He asks her about her intentions and plans for the house, if the owner agreed to marry her. The woman says that she would change a lot of things inside because, in her opinion, the owner has pretty poor taste. The woman also says that he wants him to be rich and that if she were his wife, she would travel to Paris and also enjoy their traveling around on yachts and luxury cars. The man says that he understands and tells the woman that his boss is just about to arrive and that he will call her as soon as he arrives. The woman tells the man that it is okay. And the man leaves. The woman checks her notebook while waiting. Later, the woman is talking on her phone, but the employer is trying to tell her something. Behind her, the boss carefully approaches, wearing a suit. The employer, distracting the woman, tells her that the boss is right behind her. The woman, shocked, asks if that was supposed to be a joke. The man says that it wasn't a joke and presents himself as the owner. The woman, confused, asks the man why he hasn't told her that since the beginning. The man says that the woman never gave him the chance. The owner states that the woman had just decided to humiliate and be rude to him. The woman asks for a second chance. 
and he tells the man that he called him a pretty woman when she arrived. That owner says that he still thinks she's a wonderful woman, but the man says that people who behaved like her weren't suitable for his life. The woman asks for a second chance, telling the man that she can change. The man orders the woman to get out, but the woman insists. The man tells the woman that she must leave and says that the other decorator is about to arrive. The woman, without any choice, is forced to leave. The boss advises his employer, saying that there are a lot of pretty women in the world, but warns him about the dangers of some gold diggers.